Hello, how to solve for k in this equation? Square root of k, square root of k, and square root of k, and square root of k, and square root of k is equal to 2. Solution. Then here we are going to make use of two methods. Let's consider the fourth method. Here we are going to make use of two methods. Let's consider the first method called method 1. We have square root of k, square root of k, square root of k, square root of k, square root of k is equal to 2. Now take note of this that if you have square root of m, this is equal to m to the power of 1 over 2. Also, if you have square root of a, this is equal to a to the power of 1 over 2. And if you have square root of y, this is equal to y to the power of 1 over 2. Then this can be written as the first one is square root of k. Multiply by the second one, we have square root of square root of k. Multiply by the third one, we have square root of square root of square root of k. Multiply by then here we have square root of square root of square root of square root of k and finally we have square root of square root of square root of square root of square root of, square root of k then everything is equal to 2 now let's consider this square root of k this is k to the power of 1 over 2 then multiply by this square root of square root of k this is k to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 multiply by this one we have to this square root this is k to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by here we have 4 square roots this is k to the power of 1 over 2 then the second one to the power of 1 over 2 third one to the power of 1 over 2 and then fourth one to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by then here we have 5 square roots then k to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of here 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 and the last one to the power of 1 over 2 then everything is equal to 2 now let's see the first k here we have k to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by here the second one take note of this that if you have a if you have a to the power of m to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m n Then this can be written as k to the power of 1 over 2 times 2, that is 4. Multiplied by this can be written as k to the power of 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8, 1 over 8. Multiplied by this is 
k to the power of 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 that is 1 over 16 multiplied by this is k to the power of 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 that is 1 over 32 is equal to 2 then here we have take note of this that if you have a to the power of m plus n this is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n then this can be written as k to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 32 is equal to 2. Then the SEM here is 32. We have K. Here is 32. Then 2 in 32, that is 16. If you multiply 16 by 1, you get 16. Plus 4 in 32, that is 8. 8 times 1, that is 8. Plus 8 in 32, that is 4. Times 1, that is 4. Plus 16 in 32, that is 2. Times 1, that is 2. Plus 32 in 32, that is 1. Times 1, that is 1. Is equal to 2. Then here we have k to the power of 16 plus 4, that is 20. 8 plus 2, that is 10. Plus 20, 30 plus 1, 31. 31 over 32 is equal to 2. Now let's multiply the exponent of both sides by 32 over 31 because we are looking for the value of k. This is k to the power of 31 over 32 to the power of 32 over 31 is equal to 2 to the power of 32 over 31. This will cancel this and this will cancel this. Then k is equal to 2 to the power of 32 over 31. And this is the final answer from the first method. Now let's consider the second method. Then from the second method, we have square root of k and 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 square root of k, root of k is equal to 2. Now, solution. Let's square both sides of this equation. We have square root of k, square root of k, square root of k, square root of k. square root of k all square is equal to 2 square then this we cancel this we have k multiplied by square root of k then square root of k square root of k square root of k is equal to 2 square Let's square both sides of this equation again. And here we have k multiplied by the square root of k square root of k square root of k square root of k all square is equal to 2 square square. Then here, this we cancel this. You have k square multiplied by k square root of k square root of k square root of k is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 2, that is 4. Now let's square both sides of this equation again. We have k square multiplied by k 
square root of k square root of k square root of k all square is equal to 2 to the power of 4 square then this is k to the power of 4 multiplied by k square multiply by this we cancel this k square root of k square root of k is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2 that is 8 then let's square both sides of this equation again we have k to the power of 4 multiply by k square multiply by k square root of k square root of k square is equal to 2 to the power of 8 square then this is k to the power of 8 multiplied by k to the power of 4 multiplied by k square this we cancel this multiply by k multiply by square root of k is equal to 2 to the power of 8 times 2 that is 16. let's square both sides of this equation again we have k to the power of 8 multiplied by k to the power of 4 multiplied by k square multiplied by k multiplied by square root of k all square is equal to 2 to the power of 16 square then here we have k to the power of 16 multiplied by k to the power of 8 multiplied by k to the power of 4 multiplied by k square multiplied by this we cancel this k is equal to 2 to the power of 16 times 2 that is 32 then here take note of this that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m n and if you have a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so this can be written as k to the power of 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 32 then this is k to the power of 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 this is 31 is equal to 2 to the power of 32 but we are looking for the value of k let's multiply the exponent of both sides by 1 over 31 then we have k to the power of 31 to the power of 1 over 31 is equal to 2 to the power of 32 to the power of 1 over 31 this will cancel this then k is equal to 2 to the power of 32 to the power of 1 over 31 and we know that we said a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m n then this can be written as k is equal to 2 to the power of 32 over 31 and this is the final answer you can see that the answer we got from the first method and second method they are the same so i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye